Hello and welcome to a brand new episode of Dine with World. I'm your host Amina and today you will discover the taste of Japanese food, a cuisine that has taken the world by storm. Yes, you'll be learning how to make sushi, sashimi, wasabi, tempura and so much more. So it's definitely going to be a very exciting episode. On set we have a chef who's been in the culinary field for over 25 years. Let me introduce to you our Islamabad Marriott Hotel's executive Japanese chef, Chef Mario. Hello Mario, Hello, how are you? Thank you, Amina. Thank you so much. Cool. Welcome Bye, to Dine with World. Yeah. Mario, before we start, a little bit about yourself. Yeah, actually I have uh, been, uh, I was in a kitchen for over 25 years. 25 years right? And I have a lot of experience with Japanese food. So this time we can share. Only our secrets. Uh, our secrets. With not everyone only for here. Hotel, but only for that. At home. At home, yeah. So he, so, like all the Islamabad Marriott chefs, he has promised us not to hide the secret ingredients. Exactly, exactly. Perfect. Yeah. So what are we going to make now? So we will start from soup. Seafood miso yeah, soup. Seafood miso soup. A very popular soup that is accompanied with nearly every Japanese meal. Let's go on to our ingredient card. Ingredients for seafood miso soup are water, three cups, miso paste, two teaspoons, hundashi, one teaspoon, katsubushi, two grams, tofu, ten grams, enoki mushrooms, ten grams, bok choy, ten grams, red snapper, twenty grams, prawn, thirty grams. Wow! Exactly. Very unique ingredients. Uh, Mario will tell us um, where to get these ingredients from and uh, yeah. a little bit, a little bit about them. Yeah, sure, sure. Actually, we have. Uh, Let's start with this. this. Is what is this? This is miso paste. Miso paste. It's only made from soya bean. So uh, the taste from seafood miso soup comes from the miso paste. It's made from um, soya, soya beans. Soya beans, yeah, exactly. Right. And we have the hundashi. That is we call the. Seafood stock. Seafood stock. That's some seafood stock or fish, okay. uh, fish stock. Fish, fish powder, stock. Wow. Yeah. So do we uh, do we get this um, easily? Uh, actually, we cannot find here in Islamabad, oh. but because this is more. Uh, so what's the substitute? What if we don't have this? No, we cannot use because we can use uh, like a. Uh, so if I want to make this, what do I do? Yeah, no, the the thing is we can change to sugar. Sugar. Just okay. a little bit of sugar. Okay. You can you can substitute this. Oh right, that's interesting. Yeah. So if you don't have this um, hondashi, hondashi yes. you can substitute this with sugar. With sugar. Okay. Yeah. Um, and what else do we have? What and is this? We have the yeah. the seafood, the seafood snapper. Red snapper. Yes, the snapper. Okay. And and uh, we have the prawn. Prawns. And this will uh, be the bok choy. We are using bok choy. Bok choy. Could you please elaborate a little bit on bok uh, choy? Actually, bok choy is a uh, this is a lettuce. Lettuce. Okay. Some lettuce we can we can put in any vegetables. We can, okay. And also we have this inoki mushroom. Wow. This mushroom. Beautiful uh, mushrooms. Look at these. Uh, and uh, these are available in Islamabad. Yes, yeah. exactly. Perfect. You can buy it in the in the shop. Very nice. Um, any what is this? I don't just know, miso paste. Miso paste, we spoke yeah. about this. Okay, great. Let's start. So now we will start now. And this is tofu. First of all, we have to put the water. I'm sorry, what is this? Uh, this parmesan cheese. Parmesan yeah. cheese and miso yeah. soup? Wow. No, no. Uh, actually, okay, uh, good. Uh, <laughs> we are like, oh. using it and add it. Okay. Okay. Great. So, first of all, we have three cups of water. Three cups of water. So I will. Uh, the, uh, this is ice cold water. Ice cold water. Actually, okay. I will show you how to make the exact, exact recipe of Japanese. Okay. Food. So, um, so are, um, Mario, uh, what's the significance or importance of using cold water? Could no, you just elaborate? Actually, cold water. Just we just uh, make it like a uh, press, always okay. press. Okay. Okay. Because you no, know, the room temperature. Is. All right. Okay. Great. So. Where did you start off first from? The cooking, yes. Cooking. Uh, when I was graduated from uh, culinary, I just started in a small restaurant. Okay, small restaurant. Yeah, and then you that, yeah, kept then, on uh, growing in 25 then growing, years. Yeah, because if you're passionate like this, 
You can reach your goal. That means so you can work. this was your passion. Yeah, that's my passion. And you knew that Japanese cuisine was your exactly. forte. Yes, definitely. Any uh, rest five star hotels you've been working yes. for besides the Marriott? Yes, uh, I, uh, I was been from uh, Mandarin Hotel in Mandarin Manila. Hotel. Okay. And uh, Dubai, and I'll, that's it in Dubai, and a lot of restaurants I open. Wow! So, so we're so thing. lucky to have you yeah. here. Fantastic. Okay, three cups of cold water. And Three cups of cold water, and now we are waiting to boil. Okay. And boiling, we will put this misu, misu paste. paste. Uh, again, this is easily available easy, in Islamabad. Easy, yeah, yeah. Because Japanese cuisine is is very popular now. Yes, People yes, are, it, exactly, have exactly. actually gotten uh, the taste of it and the feel of it. Exactly, because you know this uh, this Japanese now. All over the world is coming now. Yeah, it's very famous popular. all over though. Very true. Because of its um, very unique flavors, in-depth flavors, and uh, it's healthy. Actually, Japanese yeah. food is always balanced diet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so true. This is the so weight-conscious people or people who are, of course, very concerned about their health. No they cholesterol. Be. Yeah. No. So you should come to the Sakura and taste a little bit of uh, Mario's creations. Exactly. I'll show that for you. Ah, uh, this is no. Okay, so we stir it. Stir it. Dissolving it. Dissolve, dissolve. Okay. I've never tasted this soup, so I'm very excited. Yes. Yeah. Here, we just a little bit more. Okay. Now properly dissolved. Now, after okay. that, we will put a half teaspoon. Half teaspoon of, of the seafood stock. Seafood stock. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a question in my mind, uh -huh. I can't make, I mean, can you make seafood or fish stock at home? Yeah, sure, sure. Because you know that the fish, we are buying the fish or we are getting the fish. Yeah. And we will make dry. And after that, we can make it powder. Wow, can. that's like, okay. Yeah, because seafood. Another episode on that. Yeah, How yeah, to yeah, make yeah. seafood stock. <laughs> okay. Perfect. And now we are ready for this to boil. Then, what is this, chef? This chopstick for cooking. Okay. Chopstick for cooking. Tofu. Tofu. Mm. Tofu. Tofu again is From so soya healthy. Bean. Soya, soya bean, bean, yes. Lots of protein. Lots of protein, yes. Tofu. And it has a very uh, nice, pleasant taste. Okay, now we are boiling up the tofu. What we will do? What do you need? I'll get it for you. I will. Gloves. Right? Gloves. Tofu is something that um, I believe in, even in Pakistani cuisine, people have started using it in, in their rice dishes and in their biryanis. I've tasted it. So, very healthy for your diet. So, now we have time to put here. We have it. And okay. This is. After Our soup bowl. We, we are uh, using this bowl. Are we done? We are, we are done. Okay. Just waiting for to Just let boil. it boil yeah. a little bit. Okay. Yeah. How long do we let this boil for? Like, uh, you know, just seven minutes. Seven minutes. Just to dissolve properly. Okay. This paste. Okay. And now we will put this. Uh, these are. The, the, this is the red snapper. snapper. Okay. The snapper. Okay. This is actually we have to boil the red yeah. snapper. Yeah. So that the taste flavor yeah. comes out. Yeah. And uh, prawns as well. Prawns. Wow, yeah. this is going to be so healthy. Yes. And I believe this is a meal itself. Yes, yes. You know, it's if you're meal. in a hurry, um, want to, the winters are coming as well. So nothing more nutritious than this miso soup. And now we will put some... Bok choy. Bok I got that choy. Right. That's, that's okay. So you're bok putting it whole. Yeah, you don't have whole to bok. shed it. Okay. Oh, yes. The bok choy. And this enoki mushroom. And the mushrooms. At wow. least we cannot put on a bowl at, because when you drop the hot, it's, yeah. it's cooked. Okay. It will be cooked. Okay. So we, we don't have to cook the mushrooms. Yeah, the here. Mushroom. It's very soft. Amazing. Um, a little question, Mario. Sure. Uh, all mushrooms, well, they don't really take a long time to cook, but this, I believe, is by but, far yeah, the easiest. Yeah, it, it is the easiest. Okay. The inogi mushroom is the easiest. So that's why you put this bok choy because it's a little hard. It's okay. chewy, so we need little. And also this uh, tofu, we did, this is because this is uh, what is it cold. So we need to cook as well. Very 
fish. Now it's done. Oh, this it's so easy. Yours. Very nice. Then, yeah, yeah. Very. Um, you know the aroma. You can smell the interesting aroma. Interesting aroma here. Wow. Okay, this is your. We are miso. done with the miso soup. Miso, I would seafood. definitely seafood. taste it, but after it's a little cold. Okay. So yeah. And now, put it here. Put it here. Are we going on to a next ingredient recipe? Yes, yes, sir. Wow. And what are we making? So now, after the seafood meal soup, we will do some gomoku salad? gomoku salad. Could you tell us a little more about this? It's a very interesting Actually, name. Gomoku salad is a Japanese name. Yeah. Gomoku, like uh, in Japanese, is like mixed seafood. Mixed seafood. And okay. with vegetables, with, with uh, some uh, lettuce. Lettuce, So now, seafood? this time, okay. I will make you some different style of gomoku salad. That we are using the wasabi. Oh, wasabi wow. flavor. Yes. Definitely. We will get to know lots more about wasabi as well. Yes, yes. Let's go on to the ingredient card of um, gomoku salad. The ingredients are iceberg lettuce, 60 grams, mixed pickles, 60 grams, tuna, 45 grams, salmon, 45 grams, wasabi paste, 1 teaspoon, olive oil, 3 teaspoons, soya sauce, 1 teaspoon, hondashi, half a teaspoon, toasted bread, 10 grams. Yes. Wow. So now we will start now with that. Salad. First of all, we are putting that. Take the, the lettuce. Iceberg, the lettuce. Um, a little about wasabi. I think it's an ingredient that's very unique to Japan. Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, you can only find it in Japan. After, it has a very yes. strong taste. Uh, it gives you a kick. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because actually, this uh, this is uh, more on uh, this table. No? This yeah. is uh, horse radish. Yeah. Yes, there's no problem with the heart, with no problem with our body. Wow. Yes, it's just like, like a Lots of health benefits as well. Yes. And it's, it's called teardrop. Um, yeah. Yeah, it, it gives you little tears. It's okay. Your and palate is refreshed they will, uh, when they afterwards. Will they will wash you, wash your mind. <laughs> <laughs> because you know what is if you're sleepy. Oh, wow. I wow. So now this is the mixed pickles. Mixed the pickles? Yes. Okay. Great, so we can use the bottle jar. Yes, yes. we can use it. This looks so beautiful and colorful. Look at the red here. Well, yeah. This is so cute. Okay. And we have the. This, uh, actually, this is the. Actually, gumoku salad with seafood, raw fish. Yeah. Raw fish, but I will tell you if it tastes, you will, will not recognize. Oh, this is the raw fish. Really? That's right. Okay. So now I will have to cut here at the blue chopping board. So, um, lots of seafood being made here. Again, seafood is very healthy, as you all know. Good for heart disease, keeps your chest clear, great for the skin and the hair. Omega-3, again, is a very vital uh, nutrient for your body. So, you're chopping the... The tuna and tuna the... Tuna in here. Wow, look the at the, the bright color the yeah. tuna has. So fresh. Yes. Now we will put it on the side. Okay. Now this is the tuna and salmon. Okay. Tuna we will and salmon mix here. here. Very nice. Should I and mix it or do we need I, to mix I, it? I will mix it. We will mix it. Now this is this is the wasabi. Just wow! Little can bit I, of wasabi. Can I just smell it? Sure, sure, sure. Is it sure. is it that strong? Yeah, the strong one. It is strong. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Very, very uh, popular ingredient. This, this number one. It's yeah, Japanese, number one. Japanese food always must be wasabi. Wasabi it is. And we have the olive oil. Okay, and wasabi is actually used in... Um, Sashimi, sushi. Yeah, sushi, sashimi, even the curries. Even the curries, yes. Yeah, yes. Very a common ingredient. We which is why oil. it gives a unique flavor of Japanese cuisine. One of the main reasons. Olive oil. Olive oil. How many teaspoons? We have uh, three teaspoon of olive three oil. Three teaspoons. Okay. And it's a uh, half teaspoon of half teaspoon of, of the hundashi, uh, the hundashi, the fish stock. The fish stock stuff. If you don't have it, you can use the sugar. Sugar, 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 sugar. Okay. And it's a uh, soy so sauce. Soy sauce. Uh, how much? One, one teaspoon. Teaspoon. This is the yeah. dressing that he's making. Dressing, yeah. This is the dressing now with wasabi. Now Very interesting. We, we 
Oh my. Yes. So, uh, another very amazing thing is Japanese cuisine food. It's not so complicated, it's more on technique. More it on uses technique. the freshness of exactly. the raw ingredients exactly. uh, but to I maintain just, all the nutrients. This is the thing now. We are, uh, if you, especially you are doing in your home, yeah. Please be careful what you are using for the your equipment or the okay. kit. All right. You have to be professional of the to find the rupees. Now we will put now. Wow, we're drizzling the dressing, the dressing, on, dressing top. on top. Okay. Look at the the beautiful color. Yes. Lots of shine. And now we will use it. The famous Japanese chopsticks. Yeah. He's mixing mm. this gomoku salad. Now, is it one of the popular salads in, in Sakura? Sakura? In Sakura, yes. yes. Uh, besides this, what other salads um, do we have here? Actually, we have uh, the good salad, the Sonomono salad. Okay. The sashimi salad. That is sashimi the popular. Salad. But okay. this is the more popular here. Reason being because? Sakura. Because of maybe they like the wasabi taste. Okay. They like the aroma of wasabi. Right. And like, once you eat, Sometimes you bump like this. Ooh, and okay, like, great. Uh, and I think exciting. you enjoy that kick and that, yeah, 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 yeah. that strong flavor. Yeah. And now Amazing. we will put here at the... Our gumoku salad is ready. So usually Japanese meals consist of a rice dish. A rice, yes. Exactly. And three other dishes by the side, am I right? Yes, 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 yes. A salad, a miso soup and... A salad, miso soup and, and the, main course. the main course of that. So, um, in, in Japanese cuisine, they don't use lots of, it's beef and chicken and seafood. Yes, exactly. Right? More on seafood. More on seafood. Now okay. this is your... Wow, look at the presentation. Salad. This is beautiful. Our gomoku salad gomoku is ready. Salad. Yes, it's ready. Great Done. chef. Um, we'll go on a little break. Stay with us. We'll be back to make a very interesting sushi recipe. This time we're not using seafood in it. What are we using? You'll have to come back and join us. Welcome back after a short break. You are watching Dine with World and we are making one of the most popular cuisines in the world, Japanese cuisine. With me, we have Chef Mario. And what are we making now, Mario? Okay, we will make now the beef sushi. Beef sushi? Beef sushi. Actually, Very different. Yeah, actually, a lot of people don't like, they want to eat sushi. Yeah, yeah they're not but, used to the raw, but, yeah, but the taste like of the raw, raw fish. Yeah. So now we will make this beef sushi, which everybody likes. So this is interesting. Yeah. You don't like raw fish, you can have beef. Yeah, Let's exactly. go on to the ingredient okay, card okay. first. The ingredients for beef sushi are sushi rice balls, 60 gram, beef, 30 grams, teriyaki sauce, two teaspoons, Parmesan cheese, two teaspoons, guacamole, six teaspoons, potato chips, 10 grams. Wow, this is exactly, yeah. actually, I'm reading the ingredients and it, I'm sure it tastes fantabulous. Yes, yes, yes. Let's go on to the ingredients. This yeah. is the our, we start with sushi rice. Sushi. Yeah. Uh, any special kind of rice or is it normal rice? Uh, no, no. Actually, we can use the Japanese rice, it's the, okay. it's the perfect for this. but. This time we have here is not bad. Also no uh, Japanese rice, so okay. we can change to American rice. Perfect. The local rice, the American okay. rice. Okay, American rice, but American not rice. the Pakistani rice. No Pakistani rice because this like we need a uh, sticky. Okay. Yeah, you need sticky rice. Sticky uh, rice. Before we go on to the uh, rest of the ingredients, is there any specific way of cooking Japanese sticky rice? Yes, yes, yes. Actually, this is like uh, just normal water. Normal just boil, water. Just okay. boil it. Okay. How much you put the rice? Uh -huh. This is also same with the butter. Okay. That's it. And now the thing is, become juicy rice. You mix the vinegar, the salt, and the sugar. Let me get this mm. straight again. Mm. Uh, we boil water mm. uh, and we put in the rice. The way we boil rice same. is the normal way. It's the normal way. Yeah. So when um, it becomes fluffy and done, you mm. add in vinegar to the Vine rice. Yeah. How much vinegar? Actually, in uh, 75 grams of yeah. uh, 100 grams of rice, yes. you can put 50 grams. 50 grams of vinegar. Of vinegar. So this is and like around one cup of rice. One cup of rice. How much would that and be? Two? That's like uh, 
50 gram, 50 grams of uh, vinegar. Yeah, 50, 50 grams. 50 grams of sugar. I'm not good with grams. I um, like teaspoons and tablespoons. Ah, uh, sure, so sure. You can put, you can put like a uh, three spoon. Three teaspoons. Th 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 three uh, tablespoons. Three tablespoons yeah, of vinegar. Okay. That, vinegar. And salt. And salt. To and, taste. Uh, yeah. yeah, that's it. And uh, sugar. Okay. And sugar. Oh, sugar, yeah. it has sugar, sugar as well. Yeah. Just to balance the. The strong, yeah, the strong taste of, of the vinegar. Salt, the vinegar, okay. just, just the sugar. Great. Thank you for sharing yes, that with us. Okay, now we will start. Yeah. And we have now, you know, this is beef sushi. We need to make it round. Round, yeah. So um, I was asking the chef the difference between sushi and sashimi. Sushi is. Um, Always with rice. Always, uh, it's raw meat, raw meat on with top, yeah. rice, mm. and sashimi is, um, is only slices of slices of raw meat. Raw meat. Okay, yeah. very nice. So you're making the rice balls here. Rice ball. Vinegared rice. Mm. Yeah, actually, this is a pickled pickled rice. Yeah. Pickled rice. Pickled, pickled rice. rice because of the vinegar. Because of uh -huh. the vinegar. That's a really interesting mm. and exotic way of putting it. Yes. So, do people come a lot um, for um, sushi here in Pakistan? Yeah, yeah. Actually, Islamabad, do you think they're, they're yes. getting a hang of the taste? Ac uh, yeah, actually, sushi is more uh, more hot in our restaurant. Uh -huh. We're selling sushi. That's why they love sushi. So they love sushi here? Okay. I, I have to make it more, more popular. Okay. So now, we this is a thin slice of beef. Ten slices of beef. Ten okay. slices of beef. Wow. And now you're going to... Yeah, we will put here. I will also take a glove. I would... I always like participating. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. And take this. Nice hammered beef fillet. <laughs> and wrap it around. Wrap it around. Very nice. So, it's only beef. Can you do this with chicken? Oh, actually chicken, we cannot nah. compromise with chicken. No. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> beef is okay. Wow. And you've not marinated the beef yet? No, no. Nothing not, on the beef? Not, nothing. Just Great. simple. So this is really easy. Very interesting. Okay, then after this, we have to... In enough? Yeah. Put in... We are putting this yeah. in here. And we will cook the beef. We're going to cook the beef we now? We will cook the okay, beef. Okay, now comes the technical part. Yeah, yeah. Because How do you cook the beef We cannot with eat the this rice. without. Yeah. Now, we have to use this torch. Interesting gadget yeah. of Mario. Yeah, sure. It's a torch. Now Mario. We, will, we will cook this by using the torch. Okay, Actually, now. Actually, this is very popular now. In all do you get this easily? Yes, yes, yes. Actually, this is uh, what I'm doing now. It's still uh, very popular. I want popular to do now. this. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. I want to do it. Okay, I have okay, a question. Okay, okay, okay. The sure. question is... But make sure it will be cooked. Yeah, yeah, of course. From down, yes. I'll have to eat it, right. so I'm not going to yes, have yes, it uncooked. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> very interesting. Um, any other way of doing this, if I don't have a torch at home? No, this is the this is the easy way. Okay. But because if you don't have torch, you cannot cook by that. Once you cook, it will be hard. And oh, not okay. Like you can't cook it directly on the flame. Okay, okay. No. Yeah, no. So okay, um, you get this in the market. In the market, in the market. So in the shop, we can get it. And you can use this for other things as well. Yeah, yeah, sure. Torching. Yeah, yeah. Even while making desserts. Dessert, yes. At times you need to torch the meringue. Yeah, exactly. For a burnt exactly, taste. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Wow, it's fascinating. Um, every cuisine has so, something so different to offer. Um, a unique method, a unique technique, and it always tastes so delicious. Wow. This is getting burnt. Wow. So do we do we want that charred black on top? Yes, yes, because you know what? Does the aroma of the beef? Okay. It's more uh, more plump to your uh, okay. mouth if okay. you eat this. So that is. So he's saying good. it. You can do it well done. Yes, yes. Well done, or we can we can eat even well done medium well. 
Okay. Medium rare because okay. this is beef. So do we serve this with some sauce or dip? Yes, we yeah. So yes. we'll also be making yeah. that. We will make this. So chef, you've uh, how many years have you been in uh, lived in Japan for? No, I've not been in Japan. Okay. But I'll uh, I have uh, I was I have a lot of Japanese chef from Japan. Who trained you? Who trained okay. me? Okay. Wow. Yeah. So now our next, sushi balls are ready. We will put this beef sushi. Now, what's this the second step? Teriyaki sauce. Teriyaki sauce, another very popular yeah. ingredient yeah, in the, Japanese cuisine, and I love it. Sauce, yes, yes. yes, has a very unique taste and just magnifies the entire recipe. Okay, teriyaki sauce. So, it's the sauces that add so much yeah. of life. Then we will transfer here for the serving plate. Okay. So this wasn't so difficult. Wow, that's good news for everyone at home. Doesn't really take a yeah, million yeah. ingredients to make this yes. very simple, healthy, very easy. very easy to make. Take my gloves off. Okay. Now what's, what do we do then next? We have this parmesan. No. Parmesan cheese. The parmesan. No, here. Yeah, yeah. Parmesan. How could I forget parmesan. cheese? Yeah. <laughs> Are we going to sprinkle the cheese on top? Yeah. Now we will sprinkle okay. the parmesan. Wow, it's it's a very um, fusion yeah, yes, sushi. Fusion. Again, yeah. it's developed by chefs like Mario. Exactly, exactly. Um, so it suits, ev yeah. it suits every taste. People parmesan. who are not um, really um, used now, to the Japanese taste, yes, they yes, can yes, have this. Yes, yes. Yeah. And it is very easy. You can you will have this rice and the beef and this like. Uh, <laughs> nice. So now we have a. Guacamole. Guacamole, yeah. yeah, that's easily available. Yeah. Now we will. Okay. A little bit about this vegetable guacamole, chef. Tell me. Yeah, this is like uh, this is avocado. Like avocado. This, okay. No, exactly avocado. This it's avocado. exactly like avocado. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's it's of course used this in other only. cuisines as well. Mm, guacamole. Mm. Can I taste guacamole? No, sure, sure. this is only the natural avocado. Nashed avocado. Yeah. I'll have to taste it. I'm sorry. Hmm. Nice. Okay. Now we will put some teriyaki sauce again. Teriyaki, drizzle teriyaki sauce. Drizzle teriyaki sauce. Drizzle teriyaki so this is going to be. <coughs> yeah. This is going to have a really unique, strong yeah. taste. And now this. What else? Potato. Potatoes. 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 What kind of potatoes are these? This only potato chips that we uh, chips? fry. Chips. Chips. Yeah. Potato That's chips. Thinly sliced. Nice. Yeah. Uh, is this being served at the Sakura, Chef Mario? Yes, yes, yes. Actually, okay. I offering this. This for, is uh, delicious. I'm for, offering of yeah. this for the regular customer okay. of Sakura. Now we are done for beef sushi. Wow, we are done with the beef yeah. sushi. The beef I would sushi. like to taste this. Sure, sure. Can sure. I have a spoon, please? Yes. Here's my spoon. I, I love the fusion. Uh, let me yeah. slice through the beef. Actually, you can eat like one whole. One, one whole? Ho one whole. I'll just put it in my mouth? Yes, yes, yes. Actually, okay. with, with the, all the ingredients, you can feel all the... You can mm, feel all. This is delicious. Yeah, thank you. Amazing. The cheese, um, the torched beef, the potato sticks, and the teppanyaki sauce. Amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Have to try this at home. Wow, chef. Impressive. I'm going to put this here. We're going to make sauces now. Sauces, yeah. Great. Now, what we will do now? What do we need for this? This is... Okay. <clears throat> of course, we're going to use wasabi. Wasabi, yes. Wasabi it is. Take the wasabi. You put in wasabi and... And so yes, sauce. Uh, how much wasabi is this? Could you please specify? Actually, we can use. Uh, because we don't want people to use wasabi yeah, yeah. is very strong. Chef. Yeah, like uh, five grams. You five can grams use five of grams wasabi. of wasabi. That's half a teaspoon. A uh, teaspoon of uh, soya sauce. Half. You can use that. Sorry. Uh, one half of so, uh, uh, soya sauce. Half a teaspoon of, of soya yeah. sauce and you how much use. wasabi? Like uh, five grams or three grams. It depends. A on little bit. Place. Just okay. little because okay. it's a bit strong. Okay. Now we are now putting that. 
teppanyaki sauce. No, no, just uh, soya sauce. Soya sauce. Yeah. Soya sauce is uh, again ingredient used in nearly every Japanese yes. uh, recipe, yeah. right? This is the base, the base. Yeah. Now we have now the sauce. Okay, we have a sauce. Could I, can I just taste this? Yeah. Uh, or do you have to add something uh, else? I will add lemon. Some lemon. This is going to give you a kickstart. Yes, yes. To your lunch. <laughs> wow. Now this is so healthy. Just lemon and this. Mix it. Mix We're it. done. Done. Ready. Okay. And we just serve it this way. I just have to taste exactly. it. Exactly. Wow. Amazing. Really but hard. Not, but not spicy. <laughs> <laughs> enjoy, really nice. Enjoy the spice. Just made me fresh all of a sudden. <laughs> So we are making another sauce. Another sauce. Chef yeah, Mario, yeah. we made the wasabi soy sauce. Does it have a name? Yeah, only wasabi dip. Wasabi dip. dip. Okay. Yeah. Our next and sauce. And now we will make this spicy sauce for teppanyaki and especially... Spicy sauce for teppanyaki. teppanyaki. How spicy is it? Actually, we are just calling it spicy, but... Mm -hmm. it's chili it's sauce? Chili sauce. We have... Um, Okay, two small teaspoons of chili, chili sauce. sauce. What kind of chili sauce is this? Not the normal, Not normal sauce, sauce we get in the bottle. You know, what is this? We are uh, taking from a bottle from another shop. This is called the Shangri-La sauce. Shangri-La sauce. Uh, Shiraja okay. sauce, different. Okay. Shiraja is from Thailand. Shangri-La sauce. Is yeah. it? Okay. okay. Then we are mixing just teriyaki. Teriyaki sauce. Now one teriyaki sauce. Teriyaki yeah. sauce, one teaspoon. Very nice. And like just a little sweet. And it's spicy, so everybody loves it. All right, so you're balancing, balancing the chili yes. with the teriyaki sauce, which I believe is a little sweet. Yes, and uh, the like steak sauce, the okay. Japanese style. Okay. Of this. Wow. This is the one. Wow. So also, this very easy to also. make. Yeah. I will try this as well. I thought it is easy, but the thing is, we need to. This is really yummy. We need to make the teriyaki sauce. Imagine. Oh, and it's spicy. Imagine. <laughs> 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 All right, our next sauce. So we're making, basically, we're making these dips. Um, if for you the, are calling yeah. someone at home yes, yes. for dinner, and this is served, with um, a beef sushi. you can make, uh, serve this with a variety of sauces and impress your guests. Yes. Okay, our third recipe, yes. And another recipe. Third sauce is going to be. Now, add, uh, maybe, uh, you know, this time, they, they love mayo. Mayo, yeah. Like mayo, no? So <laughs> Likewise, I love mayonnaise. So what I did, like, I'm making mayonnaise. Mayonnaise. This is like a Japanese mayonnaise. Oh, what is Japanese mayonnaise? Yeah, Tell us. Yeah, actually Japanese mayonnaise is the, the fermentation. Uh, no, not fermentation, but it's different. Okay. This taste, they have a taste. Okay. But not like now. So you can't make it at home, like you can make mayonnaise yes, at yes, home? Yes, yes, yes. Can. can you make this at home? You can Could make you it at home. Could you tell us? If you make like just a regular mayonnaise, yeah. you can just let it swell yeah. and put more egg. One more egg, just okay. more, more. An uh, extra egg and salt. And yes, yes. And but why is it red? You yes, added? Added some uh, chili sauce. Mm. Chili sauce. That's why it gets spicy. Shangri-La sauce yes. or the normal bottle sauce that we get, we eat yes, with our fries? Exactly, exactly. It's, it's the bottle sauce. Bottle sauce. Okay. Bottle sauce. Now this is the, now this is the spicy sauce. Okay. We just mix the... What is mayonnaise? I would that. I wouldn't mind um, having this with fries. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> this is really amazing. This is only like very chili strong, sauce a little sour. Um, chili sauce, mayonnaise, salt. That's it. That is it. That's it. Wow, look at so this. So you, you have a three variety of sauce now you can three variety of sauces and how do you serve it with this? Any special way presenting it? Yeah, only that. You, you, can, uh, you can present like that. Here. Or you just place it around. How do you do it? Oh, yeah. You, the thing is, we can, we can... Chef is now, yeah. That's a good yeah. idea. Proper presentation. Proper presentation, yeah. You can make... Wow, here we go. We have a little gadget here. Because this is Japanese. Yeah. So now... Ta-da! We can put The here. real Japanese way of presenting it. One sauce, one sauce, one sauce, one sauce. sauce. Isn't this beautiful? Um, very sophisticated, yet it tastes so healthy. Everyone can have it. 
Sakura's so executive Japanese mm -hmm. chef. Wow. Here you go. Thank you so much, chef, for um, sharing your secrets with us. Uh, I personally thought Japanese cuisine would be very difficult and technical to make, but you've proved us wrong. It just takes the right ingredients, the right method, and the knowledge. Exactly. Thank okay. you, Chef Mario, once again. If you have any suggestions, feedback, um, any cuisine you would like us to teach you here at Dine with World, inbox us on our PTV World Facebook page. I will catch you next week with another new exciting episode of Dine with World where we will teach you cuisines of different parts of the world. Till then, take care of yourself, keep smiling, goodbye.